Today we're gonna talk about 10 best weapons in Red Dead Online. Obviously different weapons are good for different situations, so it's kinda hard to make this ultimate top list, so instead I will give you my top list of weapons that I'm using. And of course I will provide arguments on why I think that each specific weapon is the best for some specific situation. Anyway, place number 10, Springfield Rifle. I'm using it only for one specific situation, for hunting bigger animals like deers and I'm using it a lot because it's just the best and easiest choice for hunting. I mean it's not good in PvP, it's not good in PvE, it just has too low fire rate. But for hunting, especially with painted black, when all you need to do is place a mark on the animal's head, it's the best choice. Because with bolt action rifles, sometimes occasionally you will place a second mark and ruin the pelt quality. Bow is also not as great choice as Springfield rifle because arrows have a flying time and sometimes you will still miss your target despite the fact that you will mark it. But with Springfield rifle you will always kill the animal, never will ruin the pelt quality and will make it super easy, that's why it's a place number 10. On the place number 9 I have a bow and bow is a kinda interesting weapon, I mean it's usable in many situations but rarely it's the best choice. You can use it in PvE, you can use it in PvP and go for a headshots or for example to counter Slippery Bastard. And of course it's the best choice to destroy Griffer fast with the use of dynamite arrows. And it can be used for hunting, despite the fact that in my opinion it's not the best choice for the bigger game, but if you for some reason need 3 star squirrel pelts, you know what to use, small game arrow. And let's not forget that if you need to complete some PvE mission in stealth, bow is your number one choice. So bow is a weapon that you can use in many different situations, but the main reason why I'm using it a lot is just because I love how bow plays and looks. Place number 8, semi-automatic shotgun. It can be used in PvP, but I personally prefer to use sword-off shotguns for my builds. But in PvE I'm using this weapon a lot, I mean it's probably the easiest way to kill NPCs. With auto-aiming, without auto-aiming, with painted black, without painted black, you're just gonna melt NPCs like super easy. But you can tell the same about pretty much any shotgun, so why I chose semi-automatic specifically? Because it's super awesome for killing legendary animals, especially aggressive legendary animals like bears. With painted black, winning streak and short game you will crush these animals like extremely fast and because of the good fire rate that semi-automatic has. Ok, in place number 7 we have rolling block rifle, and you probably surprised to see this weapon so low in my top list. I mean rolling block rifle is a good good choice for killing NPCs, it's a good choice for killing big or even huge animals, it's a good choice in PvP after all. Rolling block rifle is a great weapon, but I'm not using it too much, just because it loses competition to Carcano rifle completely. I mean for pretty much any situation you would rather use Carcano rifle, because it's just better in any way, so on practice I'm using rolling block rifle only as a secondary weapon with Carcano rifle, just to use use different type of scopes on these two different sniper rifles. And yeah, I have a video on my channel in which I'm testing and comparing rolling block and Carcana and in this video I'm saying that it's a pretty close choice, but there were some changes made after this video, so I guess I have to remake it. Because now it's not even a close choice. But anyway, rolling block rifle is still a good weapon, so it's a place number 7. On place number 6 I have navy revolvers. According to the test results, results and my personal experience, revolvers are not great in PvP, you would rather use pistols. But for PvE you would rather use revolvers, and in my opinion and according to the test results, navy revolver is the best choice. Because it's good with painted black and it's also good without painted black, because of high accuracy. And yeah, Lemar revolver is also a good choice, because it has higher ammo capacity and this shotgun shell, so in PvE it's gonna be really useful, but in my experience Lemar revolver works better with painted black, while navy revolver is a more balanced weapon, it can be used with different playing styles, but probably the main reason why I'm using it is because of the look. I mean it's a weapon from these old classic westerns, in my opinion that's how the revolver should look like and that's why I'm using it a lot. If it's good enough for Clint Eastwood it's good enough for me as well. Place number 5, Warmond Rifle, and I'm pretty sure that you are surprised to see this weapon so high 
high in the list, but it's a good weapon for many situations, especially for new players. It's a good choice for PvE, just go for a headshot with or without painted black and you will be fine, this weapon has good fire rate and good accuracy. It's not a good choice for PvP, despite the fact that back in beta it was the best choice for PvP, but it was nerfed since then and now I don't suggest you to use it in PvP. But it's a must have choice if you want to hunt medium sized animals like rabbits or birds. And of course woman rifle is the only weapon that you gonna use if you play as a naturalist and you want to sedate animals, maybe even for a daily challenge only, but still you gonna use this a lot. And yeah, that's why it's on a fifth place, because I found myself using this weapon all the time. And actually it's a great weapon for a new player, considering the price, it can be used in different situations. So woman rifle is a weapon that I definitely recommend buying for any new player. You can even use it to get collectible bird eggs from the nest, I mean, you can use it in so many situations. Place number 4, Sword of Shotguns. It's not that great weapon for PvE, despite it can be used in PvE, but I just think there are better options. But in PvP I'm using this weapon a lot, it just crushes enemies on closer distances, 10 steps or closer. Fire rate is insane, you make 4 shots like extremely fast and no no enemy will survive that on a closer distance. So in the builds where I'm using sniper rifle plus bow or two sniper rifles, I'm using sword of shotguns a lot to cover this closer distance. And it's really effective with or without painted black. On the third place I have Mauser pistols and yes I'm only using it in PvP and even more I'm using it only in PvP when I have controller with auto aiming and even more I'm talking only about builds with painted black but it's just so good. Because of fire rate and armor capacity it feels like SMG, making headshots with it and painted black is super easy. I mean yeah it can be used in PvE as well but PvP is where the Mauser pistol should Chains. But you might ask why not semi-automatic pistol, well mostly because of armor capacity, because of these two extra bullets that Mauser pistol has. I mean if we're talking about fire rate, accuracy and damage, these two pistols are pretty close. Semi-automatic is a little bit better, but on practice we don't care about accuracy when we're using painted black, but these two extra bullets can be a game changer in a situation when we're fighting multiple opponents, because if we will run out of ammo and we will need to reload we will probably die, so um, sometimes it matters. Anyway, on the second place I have Lancaster Repeater. It's a super balanced weapon that good for many many situations. You can use it in PvE and it's good with and without painted black. And yeah, maybe Evans Repeater is a little bit better choice for PvE because it has higher armor capacity, but Lancaster Repeater is still more balanced. You can use it in PvP as well and again with and without painted black. Of course it shines with painted black when you go for a headshot, but it can be used without painted black as well. It's kinda interesting, but you can even use it for hunting, just like any other repeater, if you're gonna hunt some medium sized animals like coyotes or foxes. Not like you want to hunt these animals, but I'm just saying. Anyway, Lancaster repeater is a really good and balanced weapon, equally good for both PvP and PvE. But on the first place we have really, really, really good and unbalanced weapon. I'm talking about Kirkena Rifle. You can use it in PvE and fun fact it deals more damage with split point and express ammo than rolling block to NPCs for some reason. You can use it for hunting but the most importantly you can and probably should use it in PvP. It has high fire rate and damage and the 4 damage per second will be just insane. And if you're gonna use 2 damage ability cards like sharpshooter and peak condition for example you will even one shot to the bottom many players without protection and most players in PvP showdowns are not using any sort of protection like tonics or defensive ability cards. Because of insane fire rate with the short scope, Kraken rifle is even effective on the middle and closer distances, which is kinda weird, but you can use it even on a closer distances. And yeah, it's good to counter slippery busted or use it when you using slippery busted yourself. It's good when you playing on a mouse and a keyboard or on a controller, just because you know aim assist on a controller is insane. So overall Kirkana rifle is a great choice for many different situations, not only PvP but PvE as well. Overall this weapon is just too strong, it's way too strong.
strong. That's why it's an easy top one place on my list. I'm using this weapon all the time and suggest you to do the same before it got nerfed. Anyways, that was my top 10 list of the best weapons. Of the weapons that I'm using the most in Red Dead Online. I know it's a little bit controversial, so if you have different opinion or you disagree on some of my choices, feel free to let me know in the comments. But in any way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. До свидания.